Hi, in this video we're going to talk about predatory journals. We'll discuss how to identify those journals and how we can avoid them and how we can find the right journal where you can publish your article. If it's the first time you watch our channel don't forget to subscribe. As researcher, PhD student, postdoc or a person who interested in research, you working on a topic, trying to solve a problem. So, you do some experiments and looking for positives or negatives results. Yes also negatives findings could be published. When you get your results you'll write the article and you try to find a journal to publish your paper. But why it's important to publish my work? Well, publishing is important because will help to advance and improve knowledge. Also, publication is required to get graduated or to justify a funding. As they said publish or perish. If you want publish you have two choices, publish in a journal where the full text of your article will be available only for the subscribers. Or you can publish in an open access journal where anyone subscriber or not can read the full text. For the first type of journal generally there is no charges to publish, but in open access journals you have to pay for your publication. Predatory journals are fake journals acting like open access journal. So, a predatory journal is a fake journal. Sometimes they used a fake ISSN or they used an ISSN for an index journal. And they present a fake impact factor and site score. Those journals are present only in internet there is no printed format. The acceptance rate is 100%. But there is no peer review just some simples edits. And of course, you should pay to publish. So if you publish in those journals will stay in the website of the predatory and will not be cited. Now, we'll see how to identify a predatory journal. There are many ways to do that. You can check the Beals list and list of predatory journals. Those websites contain the list of possibly predatory journals and publishers and are updated continuously. Or if you have a journal name and ISSN you can check if it's indexed or not using Clarivate's analytics and Scopus databases. You can find the links to those websites in the description of this video. As you see in the Beale's List website, created by Jeffrey Beale, you find a list of possibly predatory publisher, and a list of possibly predatory journals and more informations. It's updated continuously. Also, in the list of predatory journals is the same as Beale's list you can find a list of possibly predatory journals and a list of possibly predatory publisher. If you find a journal that may be a predatory one you can contact them. If you want submit your paper to a journal but you want to be sure is not predatory. For example, this journal presents an impact factor and ISSN. So, we copy the ISSN number and paste in Scopus but have no results so it's not indexed in Scopus, we'll check Clarivate Analytics using Master Journal List and also no results which means it's not indexed in Clarivate Analytics. You can search using the title of the journal but it's better to use ISSN because some predatory journal they use the same or like the title of an index journal or even its ISSN so be careful. If you publish an article in a predatory journal you should contact the journal and ask them to delete it, but generally they will ask you to pay them. If you don't delete the article don't mention it in UCV or in the professional websites like ResearchGate and Academia. Now, we'll see how to find a journal for your article. First, you can use Journal Finder to find a journal in Elsevier, I will use the title and abstract of a published article to demonstrate how it works. You copy and paste the title and the abstract, you can add some keywords and choose the field of research, then click on find journals. As you will gives you open access journals and journal with subscription, and some details about each journal like site score, impact factor, time for the first decision, and time to publication. It's the same for Springer Journal Suggester and Wiley Journal Finder. Thanks for watching our video. 